And this show is called New Joke Night, man. Uh, I'm coming, so I'm coming up here. They're going to spit out brand new, fresh new jokes. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of these jokes are going to be bad. <laughs> but you already in here, and we got your money, so have a good time. <laughs> but I promise it's a great show. On the reacts, no yelling, talking, or heck, but another show. Is that cool? Is that cool? Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> New Joke Monday here with Nimesh Patel. Gonna go from here where the jokes are written and started to the Comedy Cellar's New Joke Night at the Cellar. Every Monday night, I'm in New York. I will be there. What are we talking about? Iowa, George Harrison, my new workout routine, the election, ISIS, billionaires. I'm gonna talk about billionaires. Vivek Ramaswamy, did I say Vivek already? And Nikki Haley, the one-two Indian duo. Although Vivek seems to have disappeared, but what else? Do, do. I will blur a lot of this out because it's all just that would be funny it, like Kanye would make people watch you know what if I just had up while you were here <laughs> this is my process man I gotta have a at all times blood's gotta be flowing to my brain oh yeah Amit Patel I'm gonna talk about Amit Patel the Jaguars guy he didn't get enough shine man Diddy I got a Diddy story but I think I'm actually I'm doing a Diddy story on stage on tour come see me on tour what you see from here is just unpolished nonsense some of it might make the set a lot of it is just to keep my skills sharp and force myself to write and right now i'm hungover as fuck and uh, sometimes you got to show up for yourself and this is one of those times where i'm like i gotta cut through this goddamn brain fog it's 8 p.m i'm still hungover that's what we're talking about tonight we'll see how it goes if i get to everything if not you know new joke night is forever let us go to the cellar and bomb our dicks off like we're the IDF. Let's go. Do I look beat up? Cause I am. I really gotta start doing more self care. Thanks. Oh, nice. I love a good holes. 72 is prime thinking temperature. Wow, moves. Two cellar we go. Tried to go to two parties last night, and I did. Before I left the house, I asked my wife, "Do you think I'll be able to do both parties?" Both sets of friends. No what? Anyway, let's talk about better things. I've added dancing to my morning routine. Pick any song. This morning it was Lionel Richie, Don't Stop. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Such a sick song. January is National Stalking Awareness Month. They're supposed to make yourself aware of how people stalk. I'd rather be completely unaware of being stalked. Then you have any stalkers? No, my life is so uninteresting, you know? People assume me and live interesting lives. Do they? I go to the gym, I think about things, I bother people, I travel. It's pretty much the same life most people live, I think. Interesting and wild are different. Oh, wow, you did it. You went to two parties in one night. This, I don't think that's interesting. It's just went out and got drunk with your friends. It's a little wild, a little irresponsible for my own health and well-being, but interesting enough. Interesting to me is like, you study stars? I guess it's interesting in the sense that like I basically do a census every weekend. I meet all kinds of people and demographics and I gain insights from that and what people are like. And everyone's the same, for better or for worse, which is my new presidential slogan, 2024. Everybody's the same, for better or for worse. I should run for president. You heard it here first, 2024. I'm running for president in 2028. Once this comedy thing is full of birds, it'd be so easy to have a good standard campaign. Healthcare should be affordable. Education should be a priority. Stop killing people. Like what? Boom, President of the United States. Thank you. Excuse me. What's up, man? How are you? Okay. We did it. Now we're here at the Comedy Cellar. Back for like a pussycat, new joke night. It's filling in, starting late, as usual. I wonder if I can get Joe's pizza now. But I don't like eating before I say, watch out behind you. That's the line. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Go ahead, man. Thank you, bro. Hi. It's me, Nimesh Patel, yes. Oh, did someone just say, oh, it's Nimesh Patel, yes. That's what he said. Um, I don't have anything to talk about. I'm very hungover. I did shrooms and a bunch of shit last night. And, uh, I realize I get too much life advice from t-shirts. You ever read a t-shirt? Like, God damn, I, I do gotta start being kinder to myself. You know, like, I read a t-shirt the other day. Is, man, 
You can always look in the past. Just look up at the stars. I'm like, bro, I gotta stop doing drugs because this should not move me the way it's moved me. Anyone have a good morning routine? No. No. I started a, a morning routine where I write a, a very shitty pun every morning just to make. I like puns. Like I'm a lowbrow comedian. I like stupid puns, and I also started listening to a, a single song every morning that I try to dance to. Like just a random song. This morning it was George Harrison. Any Beatles fans? George, what's your favorite George Harrison song? Hard to say, that's not a song, but okay. <laughs> Mine is uh, uh, Wow Wow. It's a fantastic song, but uh, it's off that song, All Things Must, off that album, All Things Must Pass. And I wrote a stupid joke. You ready? What is, <laughs> this makes me giggle that I have to say this to you people, and that you paid money to be here. <laughs> you have to hear this ridiculous ass joke. <laughs> what, did, what did George Harrison say after eating a lot of tacos? All things must pass gas. Huh? <laughs> Fuck all y'all, man. That was the first thing I thought of this morning. I was like, that shit is brilliant, dude. Younger. That's in my pocket. If I ever meet, uh, what's his name? Paul. <laughs> yeah, if I ever meet Paul, I'll tell him that one. Anyway. Where did Vivek Ramaswamy go? Vivek Ramaswamy, you don't know Vivek Ramaswamy? Where are you from? Houston, Texas? You don't, Vivek Ramaswamy was an Indian presidential candidate. I guess y'all don't give a fuck about Indian people. He was, a, he was he's gone, right? He's, he didn't go to the Iowa caucus. This is why I hate the election, is because we gotta care about Iowa. It's like, who the fuck cares about Iowa, dude, every year? And it's also, election time is also when people who have no business commenting on politics start commenting on, like the rebels bombed the US ship, you know? The Houthi rebels like attacked a, a US ship. And my friend was like, of course Biden has a, a weak ass response. He should be nuking Iran. I'm like, bro, you work at Chobani, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You went to Penn State, which is basically community college. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's your fucking bullshit poli political takes, dude. You don't. <laughs> Why? You work in logistics at a yogurt company. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> so stupid, bro. Stay in your fucking lane. I started a new workout routine, the HIT routine. You guys know it? H I I T. It's high intensity uh, insult training. It's when you, it's you go to a, a, a gym with a comedian that body shames you into working out. <laughs> it's when you should try it. You ever been motivated by hate? It's so much fun. That's why Donald Trump is still alive. <laughs> it's just the man, it's just pure hate. If he ever feels love, he's going to die. It's, it's so strange. Mike, you sighed oddly at that. Why did you? Uh, okay. And your mic, no, who are you? You're his friend. You sighed like, are you pro or anti Donald Trump? Oh, that's a that's a pro Donald Trump. <laughs> we don't discuss politics. Uh, just. just just when there's no other minorities around. It's like, then we talk politics. <laughs> it's fine, I don't give a fuck either way. It's, it's all stupid to me. It's, you know, this is the last election we're ever gonna have. It's over. <laughs> we made it to the end of democracy. This is what it looks like. It's, I'm so excited, bro. We never have to vote ever again. It's gonna be so much fun. I mean, I'm gonna vote for the white guy, but it's, um, the old white guy. <laughs> Can I ask how old you guys are? I'm gonna say 70s. <laughs> you look old. <laughs> Why is that rude? I'm 37. My grandparents are 81. I feel like, hey, you old as fuck. 63. Oh, they say Arkansas water. It's just <laughs> aging a motherfucker. <laughs> I mean some disrespect, but that's because you don't discuss politics. <laughs> <laughs> Will I have to go? I just, let me finish real quick. Just, look, it, 
really bugs me that this is the election we're about to have with two old people that should be in Montana doing nothing, but instead they're going to run the country. It's like, and everyone that supports Donald Trump, it's like, they're out to get him. It's like, yeah, he's a criminal. <laughs> that, that's what they do with the criminals. <laughs> you know what I mean? They fucking get criminals. And his whole legal defense is, since when is it a crime to commit a crime? You know, it's like, bro, well, that's, your, that's your whole defense, bro. And Joe Biden seems stressed, man. I was, he's 81 trying to run for president. The man needs a night out. He needs to hang out with Hunter. Are you mad at Hunter Biden? Yeah, are you mad at Hunter Biden? For doing coke and hookers? His dad's the president. Some of you living that life right now and your dad ain't shit, okay? <laughs> Let the man be a man. Uh, okay, now I'm done, Will. Thank you very much for having me. You wanna hang out? Yeah, let's hang out. I, I, I think I offended um, a, a demographic over here. Sorry for offending you, but my opinion is I'm not freaking that old. Are you medi on medication? No. I, I, you didn't have to ask if they support your phone. I mean, why not? It's fun to do that these Arkansas. days. <laughs> Bill Clinton's from Arkansas. In Arkansas, the ballot only have one person. <laughs> Come on now. Up, up. Oh, my fault. Yeah, you all, yeah. What are your names? This is That's Mike. Mike, Gina. I just met these. I didn't know they were together. I just assumed they're together. What's Why? your name, ma'am? Gail. Gail? Ed. Ed, yeah. I, I knew it was not Jamal. Mike, Gina, Ed, and Gail. That's my middle name. We'll, we'll do the jokes, I love that country accent. That's my middle name. God damn it. Sure. You know what Melpia means? What? Melpia. Melpia? Yeah, if you go to Arkansas or Alabama into McDonald's, they'd be like, Melpia, Melpia? Oh, man, yeah, help, help you. Yeah. <laughs> I wish there was more people. I was, yeah, that's wild, dude. I think you should keep What's that up, one. Matt? I'm so tired, dude. I Matt, went to... take a guess where they from, Matt. Who's Matt? Uh, Alabama. Oh, Matt Richards. What's up, Matt? Why do you say Alabama? Because they're white and I got astigmatism. <laughs> <laughs> He lives in my building. Get down here, you got a white, yeah, I got a stigma table. No, they're from Arkansas, man. You can't tell. That's pretty much the same place. And they voted for Obama twice. I'm joking. That he said no to. He's like, no, I did not. I'm not letting no black man give me health care. <laughs> no, I do not have no problem with you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to roast you guys. No, they're cool as hell. Yeah. Man. They've been together for 36 years. 30? 35, 36? 36. Married for 35. What's the, what's the secret? This kid is 34 years old. What's the secret? Live, live in an all-white neighborhood. <laughs> What's that? He won't fight with you. He won't fight with you. That's good. That's good. Why do that? Yeah, that's good. That's, yeah. What's your, how you just you bottle all that shit up? 41? Y'all been together for 41 years? Shit. What's your secret? Wrong. It's actually 42. Oh, shit. <laughs> Their secret is that they fight all the time. Well, maybe so she had 41 years. <laughs> maybe you was an asshole for one of those years. <laughs> She's like, I ain't counted that one year. Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> she went for 41 years. That's a good that's, What's your secret? Uh, Fuck it. <laughs> How many? Y'all got kids? We do. How many? Three. Three? Oh, shit. They bidding you, Mike. Three kids. You, you know what? I, I'm, I've been married for three years, so it feels pretty long. Uh, it, <laughs> I've learned the secret is um, women don't want solutions to problems. Like if, if my wife comes home, she's like, man, I had this crazy fucking day, all this shit happened. You just got to sit there and be like, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because like they, they just want someone to listen and not try to fix the thing that happened. Because the instant you give them a solution, 
they have to stop talking, and they don't like doing that. So, <laughs> that is that true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a long. What's your name, sir? That's Ed. Ed. Ed, Ed, Ger Ed, Ed, Ed Jerome. Ed Jerome. <laughs> All right, I should go now. Oh, one more time, Joseph. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Who's next? It's snowing. I see that too. Here we are, the Connie Joe's piece. Now we can cut. I'm gonna eat. Three people come out of there, we're going in though. <laughs> we got to be next stuff. Don't really have much on it, but I think I'm gonna just. He's like, that was a glitch. Make like a five minutes of the thing and put it out. I said, work on the self improvement stuff that'll come together. The t shirt, the hit training, um, the dancing stuff. I try to make it more of a point to observe the through lines of what I'm developing as I write the jokes. Like, it wasn't always obvious to me. For example, like the through line being about self improvement, you know? And then, like that, that is what's going on overall in my life, so then attacking it from that angle, but every aspect of that, I feel pretty good. That's it for this new joke Monday night. We'll see you next week. Shout out, MLK Jr. <laughs>